Hey y'all, welcome back to Cough Up with Chris, session three. You know, this is for my working moms, you already know, as you already know. And you know what, to my working moms, because honestly this show wouldn't be anything without every single mom I've met in the hair salon, every single friend I know that's a mom who smokes, every single mom I've met in the dispensary, every single mom fucking out there because I see y'all fucking working hard. I see you fucking busting your ass to make sure that your kids are good. But at the end of the day, we need this blunt, sis. And I mean, like seriously, like thank you for inspiring me every single fucking day. Thank you for sharing your mom tips, your fucking weed tips. Thank you for smoking with me and inspiring this show because if it wasn't for you telling me about your sex capades and smoking blunts with me, then this would probably not even go down. Well, yeah, it would. It would go down because you know what? Just a little bit. I want to go off for a little bit. Can I go off for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Way. Because, you know, this isn't new for me. This is, um... You know, it's a long time coming. I mean, I did graduate for radio broadcasting and, you know, that was like 12 years ago. And I became, I fell in love. I became complacent. And I'm cool with that because I was able to start my family and I love my husband. I love my family. Um, but sometimes in life, we can do that. We second guess our own self. We doubt ourselves. And we become complacent and think, you know, we become stagnant in the place that we are in our life. So I did that. But fuck that shit. Now I'm here. I'm I'm sharing my love of weed and sex with you. And, you know, I just want to say to every single fucking mom out there who is watching that, you know, pursue that side hustle. Fucking make that shit a priority because it's enough money in this world that we can all fucking win. And that's on God. So, you know, maybe God was like he wanted to make sure that all ten of my toes were placed firmly on the ground before I could do this. And that's why he gave me my family first. So I just wanted to say that you working moms... Fucking do that shit. I see y'all fucking busting your asses every fucking day. And thank you. If nobody told you thank you for busting your ass today, I'm telling you thank you. And not only my single moms, but... Or not my single moms, but my working moms, my single moms, and my single fucking dads. Because I talk to a lot of single dads who are out here raising their kids, busting their ass too. So shout out to y'all too. So, without further ado, let's get started. Tonight's strain is ice cream cake. This one is a mid. When I say lows, highs, and mids, I mean when you go into the dispensary, a low would probably be like $50 an eighth. A mid would be maybe like $60 an eighth. And a high, which means it's really premium, it would be like $70 an eighth. But is we trying to get high or no? I like spending $70 on the premium, but... Again, I, I'm a broke working mom, so I spend what I spend when I spend it, okay? Period. So this is called ice cream cake. And um, it is, it doesn't seem too sticky. Um, it has a good breakup on it, but it's very skunky. It has a skunk smell to it, which I love when weed smells like skunk. I don't know why. <laughs> If I smell a dead skunk on the side of the street, I'd be like, ooh, weed. But it's really... <laughs> so here is the ice cream cake. And tonight, I would like to shout out where I got this sweatshirt from, which is called Lawrence and Larry Murr out of Denver, Colorado. Me and Daddy were there a few months ago. And it was just a bomb-ass little boutique we found 
we were walking up the street and he seen some sweatshirts in there that he liked so he literally I feel like he bought every single piece of item that they had and all the signs that they had and they had some candles and we bought a lot of candles too so shout out to Lawrence and Larimer in Denver Colorado if you're ever in Denver go check them out you will not be disappointed they're awesome and they're black owned so you know we love that even better also tonight's smoke tray is by toke tray how cute is this fucking thing i got it off amazon and she makes custom trays so i know she has some for girls and guys but i wanted to shout her out because not only did she send me a tote tray but she also sent me a grinder the grinder's kind of little but it's cute it's a cute idea i mean it's so adorable and kaylee i'm gonna give this to you I know it's small, but it's cute. It's cute. And I'm sorry. My executive producers are here. Say hey, executive producers. Hey. Hey. So, and she, when she um, sent the um, toke tray, she wrote me a little note. It says, Christina, thank you from the toke team. And it's got a little smiley face that she drew a joint. How cute is that, the toke team? So, thank you, toke tray. So, tonight, I'm not even actually going to. Break it down because daddy rolled it up for me already. So I wouldn't have to have it rolled up. So I wouldn't have to roll it on me. But tonight's topic, drum roll. Are y'all ready? Come on, drum roll. Uh, it's masturbation. Yes, masturbation. Roll one up. Make sure you got your blunts rolled up. Ready to smoke with a bitch. Because you know it's always going to be a funny one with me. I decided to do masturbation because we were talking about squirting the other day. And you were like, how the fuck do you do it? And that's when I found out that I could squirt is by masturbating. And I fucking love masturbating. I could fucking masturbate every fucking day if you let me. I mean, seriously. Like, I love it so fucking much. Because, I mean, if you don't know how to please yourself, how are you going to allow somebody to please you? You feel me, Tana? Mm -hmm. You got to know how to make yourself come before somebody you can, you know what I mean? Let your dude, let, you know, come. Or make you come, I should say. So, I love, love masturbating. But let me tell y'all. <coughs> oh, shit. That's why I need daddy to roll the blunts. <coughs> that's why I need daddy to roll the blunts. Because that's the whole point. We coughing up alone. You feel me? But anyway. Let me tell y'all how I get so fucking jealous when I wake up in the middle of the night and I find daddy masturbating. I be so mad. Like, why didn't you wake me up? But knowing damn well earlier, I had just played with myself in the shower. Like, I don't know what it is. I be like, why you ain't wake me up? You can fuck me. Why are you masturbating? Wake me up so we can fuck. Like, why are you out here motherfucking jacking your dick off when I'm right here, daddy? He'd be like, it's not about you. I'd be like, yes, it is. Yes, the fuck it is. I'd be so jealous. And then I know it's wrong, but I don't care. Like, don't be motherfucking jacking off without me. Shit. Just fuck me. You watch the porn and then come back and fuck me. Don't just be out here masturbating without me. I feel left out. <laughs> he don't even know that I masturbate. He probably don't know as I masturbate as much as I do because he doesn't catch me. Mm. I catch him. You feel me? <laughs> like, what the fuck? But no, let me tell you about this one time how I masturbated so hard. This is when school was still in session, so my job still lets me um, work from home sometimes anyway. Mm -hmm. So he was at work. Kobe was at school. I masturbated so hard on my lunch break that I fell asleep. <laughs> And I didn't wake up for like 40 minutes. I was 40 minutes late back for lunch. <laughs> and yo, I love masturbating. And I got this fucking cousin. This bitch can't go to sleep without masturbating. Like, I'd be like, bitch. No, we can't say. We can't say who. She know who the fuck she is. And I'd be like, bitch. And her husband said, tells her the same thing because she has a masturbating problem. I'd be like, bitch, why are you masturbating so much? And he'd be like, why is she masturbating? Christina, tell her come get this dick if, you know what I mean, yeah. she wants to play with herself. Like, I'd be like, I don't know. It's just something she's done, you know. And I'd be trying to take up for her. So I need to start telling myself that about daddy and be like, yo, he's just like her. He just needs 
his little jack off time. He only child. So I feel like he probably started, and you know we're going to call him later, of course. But I feel like, well, in a minute. <coughs> Woo! Okay. I like this motherfucking um, ice cream cake, y'all. It tastes good as shit. I really like it. But, uh, sorry, I digress. So we're going to call daddy. I just need to, I just need to motherfucking, I'm going to tell him that I'm going to stop being like that. But I'm probably not, because I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> now question of the night is do you need porn to masturbate or can you do it on your own imagination i i need both so sometimes i could just you know get a little quickie in but sometimes i'll be like i want to see it. i need the visual i love watching sometimes porn, I just imagine porn. Like you just imagine I, porn. yeah because women i feel like can imagine more than men now my cousin who loves to masturbate this bitch I feel like she always probably got to watch porn, too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she can imagine, but I feel like she's always watching porn. I be catching this bitch. I be on her phone like, why are you, why, why am I pulling up Safari and you fucking got <laughs> porn up? Like, come on, sis. She be at work watching porn. She probably be at work watching porn. I'm pretty sure. But I feel like women can imagine versus men who need the porn to kind of jack off. So me with masturbation now too like i've been so spoiled by my clitoral stimulators and my toys and stuff that i don't want to masturbate with just my fingers anymore even though i'll do it especially when i get in the shower because that's my alone time that's when i i you know don't have to worry about i'm being called ma 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 babe 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 where's this where's this blah, blah, blah. I'm like in the morning before I would go to work when I when we were working in the office I would masturbate every morning in that shower it's like my me time you know mm -hmm. and I always have to have a shower head the a detachable one just in case because the bitch never know you know what I mean you put that bitch on that other speed ho bitch you put that bitch on that other speed you be like wait a fucking minute you be in the shower motherfucking leg cocked up that bitch got a cramp in it because you the motherfucking held that bitch tight as shit you in the shower like oh fuck fuck hallelujah hallelujah have you done busted that good night honey it's nothing like it it is nothing like masturbating because again if you can't please yourself how the hell somebody else gonna please you? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, RuPaul. I had to take that. That's from RuPaul. That's not from me. Yeah, I mean, Drag Race is my favorite. One of my favorite shows. And um, RuPaul always says that. Hello. Hey, Daddy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You okay? You got a second to talk to me? Yeah, I'm good. I'm but I'm good. I'm gonna talk to you, baby. Okay. To talk to you. Tonight's topic is. Did I tell you what tonight's topic is? No, you didn't. Okay, I thought I told you before I left. Tonight's topic is masturbation. Okay. <laughs> so I told everybody that I get jealous when you when I find you and you're masturbating because I feel like you left me out. <laughs> And um, I be feeling mad because I be like, Daddy, why don't you wake me up after you, you know what I mean? Like, before you even get to the point. Like, you could just you could just watch the porn, right? And then come in the room and fuck me. Wake me up. True that. But like I always told you, bro, I don't, I don't be wanting to wake you up. You know what I mean? I know. I know, but I be wanting you to wake me up, Daddy. You want me to wake you up, baby? I mean, really, yes, but no. <laughs> you know, because the bitch do be fucking tired, and, you know, when you in that comatose sleep, you be mad as a motherfucker if somebody really did wake you up. So I guess I can't really be upset, but I just be upset because I be feeling like I didn't do my job or something. Like, no. damn, come, come get me. It is never that, love. You always take care of your job. <laughs> Daddy! You get on my fucking nerves. I mean, you know, I just be feeling like I don't because when you go jack off, I be like, 
I, I'll fuck you, daddy. I'll suck you. What do you need from me? <laughs> but you know, it's so selfish, daddy, because I definitely be, you know, masturbating all the time. So I'd be like, it's no different. I could be like, daddy, I want some dick. You know what I mean? Right. But you don't do that to me because you don't give a fuck, I feel like. Well, you know. <coughs> You might want to see some new time, you know? Right. So do you feel like you have to watch porn? Or can you just jack off off imagination? I had to watch porn, I believe. That's, I feel like that's a man thing. It's just a man thing. Because I don't need porn every time. I watch the porn. And when we first met, we used to watch porn all the time together. But I feel like we I got so mad about you watching it without me that I was like, fuck. I remember one time I got so mad I threw all his porn out in the backyard. <laughs> Calling myself doing something. This is when DVDs, like you had to have DVDs and shit. Because phones, I mean, you know what I mean? He watching on his phone now, but... Back then, I mean, it was so many. I was flinging them bitches like motherfucking frisbees out there, bitch. I was so mad, and we had this big ass backyard. And so we woke up in the morning. It was just like all these TVs in <laughs> the motherfucking yard from where I had fucking slung them bitches. I was so mad, like fuck all these boards. And he had a motherfucking book. It was like this big. I swear, half of the book was fucking porn. I was so mad, but. Yeah, Daddy, that's, you know, that's all I needed. I'll be home shortly. Okay, well, your baby gonna sleep. For real, she was tired, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I figured she had a long-ass day at school today. Plus, she was up early as shit, like 4 o'clock. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, well, that's what's up, so maybe I can get a little, uh, when I get home, huh? You know? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Daddy. I'll, I'll you see you in a more. minute. Bye. Um, now we're calling mom. Hey, honey, you up? Uh, yeah, I'm up. All right, mom. Tonight's topic is masturbation. Okay. Do you still masturbate, mom? Do you even have time? What do you mean? Do I have time? What do you mean? How do you? How do you not have time to do that? I mean, because you normally either going to do it when your person isn't home or when they, you know, like sleep or something like that. But most of the time, dad is home. So, so you normally do it wherever it, it comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you still do it? Because I just can't picture you masturbating. That's why I probably said that. Every now and then. Really? Huh. You are. You a human ass woman that you should still be masturbating. I mean, you know, I'm just surprised because I just can't imagine you masturbating because you and dad have sex so much that speaking of like when I was little, this bitch would fuck every day. I would wake up in the middle of the night. These motherfuckers be fucking. I'd be so upset when I was a kid. Like, why the fuck are y'all always fucking? So that's probably the reason why I feel like I can't imagine you. You know what I mean? Like, masturbating. Because I'd be like, what do you even need to for? Because you always having sex. <coughs> the thing. Even if you do it every day, they'll be you doing it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? You are correct. You so, are correct. Even if you do it every day, which I don't do it ever, but I do it enough now. But even if you don't do it, I mean, if you do it every day, people still masturbate. And it doesn't make a difference whether you're home or you could be in the store. You know what I mean? What? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, <man>. Wait, <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We not just gonna go by like you ain't just said what the fuck we think you just said. Are you fucking what do you do, mom? You go in the store and masturbate? Like who what well, I'm confused. You if you feel an urge coming on, you telling me you be in Macy's and you go in the motherfucking fitting room and just rub one out real quick? Like what the fuck? Really women shit. The store, you know what I mean? I think she did it in the store, don't y'all? The way she said it, she did that shit in the store. Whether you're at home, whether you're in the store. No, 
<laughs> whether at home, whether you're in a store, if that urge come on, I'm masturbating. That's what it sounds like she said to me. That's, that's not what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Y'all take a stop. Uh, Kaylee, be quiet. I don't want to hear it. Okay. I didn't mean in the store. You be imagining in the store, Mom? About masturbating or about just no. some dick you previously had so you just think about that and that makes you want to masturbate? That makes you want to. It does make you. When you, when you are not really masturbating, you're just not really thinking about it. Mm -hmm. You Definitely get creamy. Definitely right. gets that's, creamy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not saying masturbate in the store, but you can be on the on whatever or you know wherever and just imagine that you just did with the person you love or the person you were with. Or the person you that fucking time. at that time. Right at that time. Cause you know when I was younger I used to like to sling this pussy around a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Just you know I had friendly pussy back in the day. I don't give a fuck. But. I have in the car. <laughs> in the car. In the car? Drive. Yeah. Driving. Yeah. She in the car like. So you imagine. So you're in a. You. Do you, when I was little, they used to own a whole bunch of porn when I was little too. Like, they used to own so much porn and their, <laughs> theirs was on VHS back in the day. <laughs> Thick ass fucking porn. So they used to hide them in their closet. So how do you feel like, do you still like to watch porn or do you just imagine when you masturbate? Mom, porn is accessible on your phone, sis. Are you kidding me? Everybody watches Everybody. porn on their phone. I don't watch it on my phone. Okay. Girl, watch, watch it on your that. phone. Is that what you want me to do? I mean, if you want to watch porn, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, if that's what you want to do when you're masturbating, I would definitely um, say... Okay. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I understand so, what you're saying. You don't need porn to masturbate. That's, I feel like, again, that's what I was talking about earlier. So, basically, I feel like women don't really need porn. But I know a lot of women who love to watch porn. Like, I used to, my co-worker, I used to fucking pick up her phone sometimes. And this bitch would be at work watching porn. I'd be like, what are you, do why are you watching porn at work? So, I just know a lot of women who do like porn and who kind of do both. So. Was she rubbing her pussy on a chair and shit? <laughs> she said she masturbating without using her hand. She had work washing it. No, she's not. Or okay, the leg cross. The <laughs> leg cross. <laughs> The fucking leg cross, okay. And the movement. And the movement. Ah. Like the seam on your pants, like. You know, give you, you know, because you always need the pleasure that clit in order to get the nut off. It's not like you're going to be fingering yourself to get the nut. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> yeah. But so. Masturbation is part of your imagination. No, because we just talked to daddy, not not my dad, but zaddy. And <laughs> he said that he needs porn. And I feel like, again, that's a man thing. That's a man thing. Yeah. You know, that's a man thing. Yeah. But I love you. Thank you for chit-chatting with me. I love you, too. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. But that bitch be motherfucking. <laughs> That bitch be masturbating in the store. That bitch be at Macy's like, I'm going to just run in this fitting room real quick. Like, 
Uh huh. I'ma just. This bitch said she be driving down the road. Okay, parked, but then she said driving. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. That bitch a pro. That Hell. bitch a pro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, hey, yo. Yeah. Oh, man, that was hilarious. So, make sure that you are liking, sharing, subscribing, or whatever the fuck we do <laughs> nowadays with these likes and shit because I am trying to have my first giveaway soon or game night where two lucky working moms or dads can win $50 of my hard earned working mom money okay so make sure you tell all your friends to follow so we can get this popping so I can give somebody's mama $50 so she can go buy her own eighth <laughs> and Sorry, I went off on a spiel earlier. I never told y'all about the ice cream cake. It is a sativa. And, you know, sativa is supposed to get those creative juices flowing. It actually helps with depression. Um, so, you know, that's the whole point of this. Because we often smoke weed. And we don't know. We just like getting high. Me, personally, I like flour. I don't really like Eddie's like that, but if y'all know the Eddie person who got them bomb ass Eddie's, I love fucking Eddie's. You know, I love to eat them. I just don't feel like it makes me high, and I just feel like that's just because I smoke so much flour. But, you know, I just feel like so many times, a lot of, again, my friends and a lot of women I talk to, they want to know which high is what because moms do want to, if you want to smoke during the day, you want to have that one that's going to keep you up. You know what I mean? And be like, all right, I got this. Because if you smoke that in a <laughs> indica during the motherfucking day, you be in the motherfucking couch, like daddy says. And, you know, who got time for that? So, you know, I told you at, at night, I like the indicas. During the day, I like the sativas. But um, the ice cream cake is definitely a sativa. I like the high because I can, right now, I already know that it is... I swear to God, my <laughs> my fucking daughter's bestie calls like every five minutes. Like they call each other back and forth. But I'm like, oh, my God, y'all too. What the fuck? Yes. All her calls comes through my phone because I need to know who the fuck's calling her. They call me too. If they ring at her phone, they ring at my motherfucking phone. So I want to know who the hell's calling. Okay. But um, shit, she fucked me up because <laughs> she called. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? It's her ass always calling little ass her little ass be up at 12 o'clock at night i be like what are you doing now one day i would just answer the phone to scare the shit out of her she would be like ah i'm like yeah <laughs> little shit but i'm sorry i was saying about how a lot of moms that i smoke with be wanting to know you know exactly what they're smoking so i know i always joke at the end and i'll be like of course i would smoke it again but there are some weeds out there that i definitely would spend my money on smoke again so i want to tell you those weeds too so you know when you go into the dispensary that this is the one you want if you got the money to spend for the premium that day then we gonna go get that shit sis okay because i'll be wanting the premium i want the 93 okay i don't really be wanting the 89 i'll deal with the 89 and I shit, I'll do the 87 if I got to. But shit, I really would like the 93, okay? <laughs> we got the 87, the 89, and the 93. And most of the time, I want the motherfucking 93, okay? And, you know, I never really back in the day had to really buy weed like that because either, you know, my cousins was giving it to me or, you know, I have a vagina. So why would I ever buy weed? <laughs> But um, I definitely love the ice cream cake. I love the way the high is, yo. It's got me up. Like, it's got me giggly. It's got me feeling like, yes, I love that. I love that. I love that ice cream cake. So I actually would definitely smoke it again. But y'all know the motherfucking deal. Bitch, of course I'm going to smoke it again because I'm a working ass mom. And if I had this little $60 to buy this eighth, bitch, I'm going to smoke it again. Are you fucking stupid? So the stickiness, it wasn't that sticky. And the smell, it smelled like skunk. I love when it smells like skunk. And um, overall, the high was really good. So, 
I guess this wraps up session three. This was a funny one, guys. Uh -huh. It was a funny one. Mom was funny today because we done funny. found out mom be fucking masturbating riding down the road like that. <laughs> and in the grocery store. And in the grocery store or at Macy's or wherever the fuck she feels the urge come on. <laughs> she just be in the store. It's like, no, she said that's not what she meant, but that shit was funny as hell. Okay. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.